we're back home sweet home and on the community server and it's been a minute since we've given you an update of what's going on with all of the community stuff on the discord and the complete ragnarok server so i just wanted to check back in and go through a few of the questions that i get and talk about some of the mods that we've got on the community server so now i think last time we checked in i tamed in billy b the griffin and he's great really useful for grabbing tames but i just wanted to go over some of the mods that we've got both on the server and on the complete crew starting with the big one which is the awesome spyglass now i get asked what's that in the top corner there that you're using so we do use this on the complete crew and if you press alt and s it will bring up all of the options for the spyglass and if you're on the server as well just holding down alt and s will bring up this menu and you can switch things on and off now if you're an admin and you're installing this you do get a few extra options as to what people can play around with but it's an extremely useful mod and the vanilla spyglass is pretty terrible to be honest but i do find this a really really useful quality of life tool and I hate playing without it to be quite honest with you. So holding down Alt and S brings up this menu and you can toggle things on and off like the GPS location if you wish and we leave that on just in case new players get stuck and they can't tell us where they are. If you're an admin then you've got access to this menu and there's a few things we've got switched off like allow outlines. Oh. I've just triggered that. Now everybody on the server will know I'm I'm cheating. But here we go. Brings up a few things. I've just added the dodo decks as well. And you can do this one as well. We keep this one switched on. But the enemy outlines basically act like the tech helmet does. And that's a bit overpowered, that setting. So we have that one switched off for everybody. Oh, yeah, Romeo caught me messing around with settings he saw that <laughs> it's just for tutorial purposes Romeo trust me it's going off but there you go you can see what wild tames need and so it can be a little bit overpowered but nonetheless when you're playing on PC there are some things you can't live without and one of them is the awesome spyglass so that's the awesome spyglass mod i highly recommend it and it's just one of those quality of life mods that really a community doesn't like to live without and believe it or not we are a very lightly modded server we don't have s plus so it's all vanilla building and i don't have that many mods on the server because people are on all different pc specs and the more mods you have well sometimes that's one of the reasons that we don't do it and we try to have a happy medium so alt and s again brings up this menu and again if you are a mad admin and if you installed this on your own server then you can bring up and toggle off all of these ticks you can take everything off really if you want to but there are reasons that we allow it one of the things like allow loot crate targeting that will tell you what's in the loot crate before you actually open it and I think some of these things are just a little bit too overpowered along with that outline again it's useful as an admin feature somebody's lost something somewhere but loot targeting them things yeah, they're just sort of switched off for the player themselves and I'm just going to get rid of the food list. I don't really need that. But again, it's handy. It saves you having to switch out and look at the dodo decks. I've got a couple of Argies here that I'm going to breed up. Nothing too special about the stats. I'll talk about them in a minute. So the next mod we have on here is the HG stack mod. Now this is the other big game changer. This will reduce the weight of a stack of 1000 items and stacks everything into 1000. We've also got some role playing storage mods. Now, this just basically changes the storage, gives us extra slots in our storage as well. And there's lots of different options just to add a few things around to your base. So it may look like we've got quite a lot on here, but really we haven't. They're just different storage mods. This is the only one that changes anything. You can 
actually stack polymer in this little bar fridge that it has that comes with it. But the rest of them are just different options with a little bit of extra space. And again, it just helps tidy things up and saves people building huge, huge bases with just loads and loads of vault storage because, well, there's lots of different options this way. And it does balance out a community server quite well. So that's the role playing mod. We've also got a mod that allows you to change your hair. But again, these are mainly cosmetic things. Okay, so they're going to be five minutes. We'll just wait for another egg. So if any of you guys have been following along with all of the videos that I do, then the first episode we did here, I suppose it'd be about six months ago now, was building this tugboat. We had to find our place to set up when we opened up the server and I came out to this island just here. So let's kind of have a look over the boat. And this is basically how I've been transporting metal. So this is why I've had to get the Argies breeding today because I need some weight birds to be able to transport stuff. But yeah, it's still here. And now I did get some comments about leaving that wall backwards at the side. I know I flipped one round the wrong way and for everybody that's got OCD they were like James James you didn't sort it I did there you go I came back and I readjusted the wall so it does sit tight and yeah if you want to know how I built this one and how we ended up here well yeah check that video out how to build a tugboat so that's one of the reasons like I say we're building the Argies up because this has been pretty useful for gathering. The next island over from me has loads of metal on it. But I want to get an industrial forge down and I need a couple of other bits around the base. So if you are interested in joining, then you need to be on the Discord. You need to be on PC. And I really can't thank the mods and the admins on here who organize all of this stuff for the community because I couldn't do it. I'm so busy. I do play here, I do enjoy stuff, but really all the hard work is done by them guys. So just ask for a mod or an admin in chat and they'll hook you up, tell you everything you need to know. But I will tell you that we do expect you to be of a certain age and I assure you we expect a mature attitude if you're thinking of joining. And to, honestly, I make all of my content for a mature audience. I focus all of my videos at 18 and over and I say that to YouTube when I upload all of my settings I don't actually make videos for kids and I just choose to remain unoffensive because largely I strive to in real life to be honest with you uh, but the uh, discord when it comes to the discord we only welcome those old enough to be there and old enough to sort of communicate to me and the rest of the team mostly because I couldn't do it without any of them so do remain patient with them they give up their time to build the place and make it what it is and I couldn't do any of this community stuff if I didn't have those around me that I trust to make it a fun place and it does need to be organized and uh, without them guys putting in the hard work it just wouldn't be able to happen so that's one of the reasons I needed to get some weight birds on the go today and of course as you can see I haven't really made that much progress and a lot of the people who join the server well they could do it a lot quicker than I can but I've got so many projects on the go this place here for me is just the place that I'm taking my time with and I will eventually do a line of algaes and breed properly with them see what color mutations I can get I love doing all of that stuff but Ragnarok for me is a more casual laid back and I'm in no rush to complete it let's just switch you off now this one I might use in the future as it's got 43 points in health and we might throw that in I'll put that in the cryo fridge but I'm definitely gonna have to hunt around for some better stats on the algaes well, that brings me neatly on to talking about some ARC news. So if anyone caught the ARC trailer, you would have noticed that there's something that looks a little bit different. And when I first saw it, I thought, are they using Blender to animate all of this stuff with? 
because this looks kind of new, but I can confirm that it's been done on the Unreal 5 engine using the Unreal 4 assets. And if this is any indication as what perhaps creators like myself are going to have access to with animation dev kits and I can't wait to play around with this stuff and it's not just me there's so many youtubers out there who make arc skits and if we get some sort of dev kit like what's available in GTA some of you might have seen some of the movies that get made using the GTA mods and uh, people just go to so much effort to be creative with this stuff and that brings me neatly onto the creator that I'm going to be working with this weekend, Bunner. So myself and Bunner have been teaming up to do some little projects together. And I can tell you as an ARC YouTube creator, teaming up with somebody else and doing some collaboration work has been an absolute highlight of doing all of this stuff. And I've got nothing but respect for what Bunner does. He certainly really works hard on his edits. And when he does these skits, well... It does take him a long time to do them and it's it's definitely a passion project for him. And as we was looking at the trailer before, Bunner is definitely going to utilize this sort of software, I'm sure. And if he gets access to working with some of that animation stuff, I mean, I would just love to see what a creator like Bunner could come up with. But let me share a clip from one of his latest episodes with you and see what you think. Yeah, I've got the chills too, buddy. Well, butter my biscuits and slap my ass with a flip-flop. It's a beautiful day out here. Sharon! Sharon, have you seen how beautiful it is out here? <laughs> this is too much fun. Oh, Jesus Christ! William? William, what was that noise? Oh my goodness! William! William, no! So Bunner is a fantastic creator and that's why I reached out to him to see if there was a way that we can somehow collaborate and if you've ever had to do this, it's hard because he doesn't know me and we both work and produce our content in a different way but you have to see if there's any sort of chemistry there, don't you? You have to see if you can have a banter and yeah, he doesn't know who I am. So the first thing we did, and both of our first YouTube collaborations, and it was done in the form of an event and a team building exercise, I guess. So it was great fun. And I think future James has enough time to cut to some highlights of that first YouTube collaboration. Okay. I don't want to scare you, man, but everybody else on the green team has nailed that gold circle. So if you don't nail it now, <laughs> know, yeah. it's really embarrassing. Don't pressure yes. him. Thanks for no, no pressure. Huh? Yeah, yeah, no pressure, Jay. Jay. Yeah, no pressure. Hey, go. Jay, all you need to do is get this. Make us proud, Jay. Make us proud, man. All right, so I'm not mad or anything, out. Jay, but what in the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this side as much, Vex. There's like some sun glare in my eyes. I think he has the land advantage. Suck it. Go. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Let's go. Okay, we're a go. Let's go. Fight. Go. Yep. Okay. I press space bar on here and you'll get hung into the arena. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know how to get down. Oh, that got me. Oh. So that was our first YouTube collaboration that we both did, but our second comes in the form of this week's Halloween special. Myself, Bunner, Shazella and Vexing Cat have been meeting up in secret at the weekends to get the odd game of Phasmophobia in. Now for those of you who don't know what Phasmophobia is, it's a four player team based game where you have to investigate haunted houses and creepy abandoned structures to figure out what type of ghost you're dealing with and identify it. 
Now we have played at least 30 hours plus. I had at least 30 hours of footage to go through to try and figure out what I was going to do with what I got. Because Phasmophobia is one of them games you can play and not a lot happens. So we did play a few times and we've had a lot of fun doing it. But we wanted to get two different versions of a video. And you may notice that some of the footage that we've chosen to use is of an older update. But that's the thing with Phasmo. You you never know what you're going to get. You never know what ghost you're going to deal with. And uh, it's totally unscripted. But we've really picked out the best of these moments from over the hours that we've played from it. So not only are both of our styles very different, I know that Bunner's very comedy driven when he does his content, but so you'll not only notice that there's a different in style there, but there were different highlights of what we got. And we did get some really, really good footage to work with. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy it. And if we can get enough comments and likes and all of that stuff on the day itself, when the video comes out, if we can get enough sort of people jumping from one channel to the other, because I'm going to be jumping straight onto Bunner's channel as soon as that video goes live, because I want to see what he's done, of course. Uh, if we can get enough comments and likes and just sort of a little bit of a cross channel thing going on Halloween, then I might have a second video in secret that I've done that I might release at midnight but I guess I'm just gonna have to gauge how much you guys enjoy it and and see if you want to see more content from me and Bunner in the future really so I'll leave that one down to all of you to sort of interact with it can't wait to show you it and as well Shazella who managed to give up her weekends as well to help me and Bunner out get these videos done is going to be doing a live stream on Twitch so I'm going to be sat in Shazella's channel for as long as I can. She's going to be live around 8pm East, Eastern Standard Time I believe so as soon as she goes live I'll type something in my Discord to say she's live and I'm just going to be sat in her chat and uh, I think we're going to get a few games of the new map that's come out. The new update is for a haunted campsite. So I'm going to be experiencing that on her channel for the first time. And um, yeah, I'm just going to chill out and hang out with Shaz. She's been hanging out with me over the weekends with Bunner. So the least I can do is uh, keep an eye on her Twitch chat and uh, come and play some Phasmo with her on Halloween. But I know I've got a busy day on Halloween itself, but... It'll be late in, in the evening and I can chill out with her for a change. So do drop by and keep your eye out if you're on the Discord for when uh, Shez goes live on Halloween. So we're back and I placed down five Argentavis eggs. And out of that five, we ended up with six weight carrying RGs. And we got a mutation on a health stat. So I've named this after patron supporter Hop Gaming. So thank you very much, Hop. Hop G got a hundred percent imprint and one mutation on the health. Another great opportunity to show you the spyglass makes this extremely useful as well because when a creature gets a mutation, it gets two points in that stat. And as you can see, it's now got 45 in health. Some of the others there have got 43, which was my best Argent stat so far. So Hop G, thank you very much for the support on Patreon. And of course, all of my patrons, Billy B over here, all of you guys that contribute, it all helps me run these community driven servers and expand on them. And it really does help. And in turn, that helps me make new content. And this weekend, like I say, a little bit of a passion project from both myself and Bunner Put a lot of work into this one so I, I really do hope you enjoy it and you all enjoy Halloween in fact I'll take this opportunity right now to wish you all a happy Halloween hope you enjoy all of the arc events getting them skins collecting those candies I do like this one because you end up getting kibble in the candy so it's good to stock up the fridges and some of the colors that are available as well doesn't necessarily have to have the greatest stat you can always use it at the end and there's some blacks that you can get in Halloween that just don't spawn the rest of the year. So Halloween, if you're into just having a different color variant of something, it's good to go out and experiment with it. So enjoy the event and I will hope to see you all this Sunday evening 
with some phasmophobia. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see ya.